Aspen Hill Master Plan, um, uh, Minor Master Plan Amendment has been an interesting experience for us all. Um, I, what had uh, kind of started out as a major uh, community d debate seems to have resolved itself to a site plan argument. And I think that's a good thing. Uh, and I think there's nothing like a community issue uh, to bring the neighbors together. Well, Aspen Hill has, is a great commercial shopping area, uh, but it has a lot of uses. How many Chinese restaurants, ice cream stores, cleaners, can you have in a, in a retail area? So I think there'll be quite a challenge for the owners of this property to get creative on uses that are not in the market. We have it all in Montgomery County. We have thriving, bustling, exciting urban areas. We have quiet, safe, single family, residential, suburban areas. And we've been recognized by the Natural Resources Defense Council as the best farmland preservation program of any county in the United States. Aspen Hill is a suburban area. This area should not become a regional shopping hub. So where we are looking at retail uses in this area, they should be neighborhood serving. They should not be of a size and scope that will attract a greater volume of traffic to Aspen Hill Road, which is already today uh, narrow, windy, extremely dangerous. It is very, very difficult for those homeowners who live on Aspen Hill Road to get out of their driveways. I don't think that the solution for Aspen Hill is additional small stores. I don't think that that's the solution. I don't think that's what people are looking for. That's not what people want. People want something. And look, you know, talk about saving Aspen Hill. The reality is, is that I'm trying to save Aspen Hill. I believe in the neighborhood that I grew up in. I don't believe that what is being suggested today is actually going to be a help to, to Aspen Hill. I believe that the size, whether it's 65,000 or 68,000 or whatever a grocery store has to be today, is, is the necessary item, the necessary retail store that will bring um, a business to the other retail stores, the smaller retail stores that people want there as well. They're going to use both. I worry that we're in this race of not losing uh, folks that want to move into that part of the county because they're constantly asking those questions. You know, how come I'm paying whatever, $300,000, $500,000, $600,000 for a home, but I don't have the amenities that I want? What's the clearest path to delivering a, basically a grocery store anchored development. And I think Mr. Katz basically outlined that same attitude here or, or approach here, which is that to me is the best way to get what, you know, an, an amenities. That's the best way to get improvements. And I think that's actually what the planning board wanted. Having some sort of anchor, having some sort of large presence to bring in additional people to support those smaller stores are what's important. 